Well, turning closer to home now, when most of us think of wildlife, bears, elk, deer, and moose, are uh, usually, that's what comes to mind. Yeah, however, the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Parks tasked with caring for all of Montana's creatures. This Week in Fish and Wildlife, FWP's effort to help the pine martin. This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. We're at Region 3 headquarters with Morgan Jacobson. Uh, Morgan, over the course of time, we've talked about a lot of different Montana wildlife. We've talked about grizzly bears and bears and bison. We've never really spent a lot of time talking about some of the little ones that are out there, yet that's still a very much a function of fish, wildlife, and parks. This time we're talking about the marten. That's right. Yeah, so uh, we've had a really exciting project going on uh, throughout the winter here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we've been working with volunteer trappers to uh, capture pine marten uh, from south areas of southwest Montana and relocating them and releasing them in the Little Belt mount Mountains. Uh, mm -hmm which haven't had pine martin there for, you know, about a century. Hmm. Um, and it, you know, it's a really unique project. It's a species that you don't really see very often, mm -hmm. uh, much less be able to work with them. But uh, it's been really exciting and, and very successful so far. Uh, if you can, just tell me, what does this mean? Obviously, the, the, where you're taking them from, the population must be strong enough you're able to do that. And then the next question, where you're putting them, obviously, that's going to be a benefit for that area. That's right. So uh, we have very strong populations of marten in many parts of the state, mm -hmm. uh, especially here in, in our neck of the woods in southwest Montana. Uh, and so we, you know, like I said, we've worked with volunteer trappers uh, through the Montana Trappers As Association, mm -hmm. uh, Fur Bears Unlimited, uh, Fur Takers of America, uh, as well as uh, support from uh, Safari Club International and the Forest Service mm -hmm. uh, to capture marten in these areas where they're doing very well and use them uh, to uh, reestablish a population in the Little Belts. Um, and what that does, or what we're hoping it'll do, uh, is create a genetically diverse um, and self-sustaining population of marten uh, in this area where they've been historically, uh, but haven't been there for quite some time. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to hear this. They're going to say, wait a minute, I thought you were only dealing with deer and elk and, and things like that, the big game animals that you can go up front here and, and buy a tag right. uh, to, to, to hunt, put in your freezer. Wildlife is wildlife in Montana. It's all your it's all your gig, really. Right. Yeah. So we you know we work with a lot of partnering agencies to mm -hmm. manage other species uh, here in Montana. Uh, Martin are a small member of the weasel family. They're mm -hmm. a small predator and you know really a, a really cool animal. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's a lot of fun to work with species like that that you don't like I said don't you don't see very often, mm -hmm. uh, but still play a really important role in the overall picture and uh, the ecosystem and how things work. So, uh, you know, again, we're really excited and um, hopeful to see a, a, a new population of, of these critters, you know, reestablish themselves. I think it's got to be exciting for all of you folks at uh, the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Uh, population of the human population is growing all the time and it's always constantly changing the environment for Montana's wildlife. To be able to help establish a new population of animals that have always been there at one time or another even though they've been gone for a long time th that's got to be a great thing because that just doesn't you don't get that opportunity all that often right you know and, and native species play a, a really important role here in mm -hmm. montana mm -hmm. uh, you know we put a lot of effort to to keep them going to keep them strong uh, you know we we've done a lot of work with cutthroat trout with mm -hmm. arctic grayling uh, bighorn sheep which we talked about <laughs> um, and and these are another one of those those players in that in that overall system of, of uh, what makes Montana special. Um, and so, you know, pine marten are, you know, if, if, you, if you get to see one in the wild, you count yourself lucky because mm. they're just such a, a cool animal. That's fantastic. Again, Morgan Jacobson uh, joining us this morning talking about uh, an effort to uh, establish a, a pine marten uh, population where they haven't been for a very long time. Yeah. Morgan, thank you very much. You bet. And that's This Week in Fish and Wildlife. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places.